alone. She's always alone. I stare, I watch, I follow her. I've been watching her for a while now. Her every move, the way she breathes, her long brown hair. I watch and daydream about slitting her open. I watch and I follow and I daydream. I want to torture her, I want to torment her. I want to blindfold her and play with her. Ah, the sweet thought of slicing her open. I want to taste her skin and bathe in her fear. I want her. I find it odd how someone so fragile would walk home so nonchalant, not even looking around her surroundings. I guess she feels safe. She walks home the same way every night, never looking behind her shoulder to see who could be around. I've stood out in front of her house now for about two weeks, and my bones are aching to touch her. I can't stop daydreaming about torturing her. Tonight, I will end my hunger. As I creep up to her room, my blood starts to crave her more and more. My skin tingles for the taste of her dying sweat. As I watch her breathe, I feel as if I want her to see me. I want her to see my face. I want to be the last person she sees before she dies. As I slowly put my hand over her mouth, she wakes up. My knife pierces through her skin into her chest over and over again. I feel like I'm in heaven. She cries in pain, with blood leaking down her chest over her skin. I can't help but think of stabbing her. As I let my hand off her mouth, she screams for help until her last dying breath. Her eyes are so empty now, so delicate, my work of art. She's so beautiful. I'll miss her.